Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a skincare review and this is in regards to the face shop. Um, it's the Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser. Now this is the first product I've ever used that is from the face shop. <clears throat> It is also the first ever uh, K-Beauty or Korean Beauty foaming cleanser I have ever used. Um, let me just give you all the positives that I have for this one. So it has this beautiful smell to it. It, it smells so beautiful. It smells so luxurious. It smells like um, the Cool Water by Davidoff uh, Eau de Toilette and in the um, the female. It smells so beautiful and elegant and fresh and like slightly sweet but not gourmand. And it just kind of brings me back to that. It's a lot more, it's, it's, a, it's got like maybe 80% of that element and then it also has like a, an extremely luxurious, timeless, um, high-end luxurious spa like just the uh the smell to it for me a little bit goes a long way and i didn't know that in the beginning because a lot of the foaming cleansers i have used through the years i always needed to to use like a whole pump you know and then i did um probably around that much that amount i squeezed out from the bottle and um it 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 just it took forever to get it off because i used so much of the product that was the first time i used that and of course there's a learning curve and i noticed that a little bit goes a long way i would say probably depending on your face i used about a half to a full pea size um and this uh i've noticed um using this is the be the best for me is either in the morning when there is no product on my face or after usually this is a companion to the cleansing oil and so if i have makeup that day and i want to use the cleansing oil and i use this one um i use it after that because that's what you're supposed to do to get all the greasiness off of the cleansing oil however i have noticed using this with or without the cleansing oil i have noticed my skin tend to overly um get very oily versus not using it um which is a little um it got me a little worried in the beginning just because i didn't want to get breakouts i didn't want to get irritation that didn't happen so after i really did use this the first time there was a little bit of itchiness on my face it was just like a slight itch like you know how there's something that touches your face during the day and it kind of itch like a little bit of itch it's not like an extreme itch like a bug bite or hives it wasn't like that so i didn't think anything of it and i used it because i use this twice a day so i use it again and again and again and i just kind of noticed that after a certain amount of time i think about almost a week i had i started to get bumps right here and I think it was because I was I was rinsing my face and then this product really kind of stayed here a little bit and I didn't rinse it off I guess all the way and the reason that I know that is because I was cleansing my face and you know how sometimes it's kind of hard to clean this area because especially if you're like kind of rinsing off from a sink and not from a shower um, just because you don't want everything else to be wet or maybe I'm the one I'm the only one that like cleans that way so I did that and I felt I felt like there was some product still left when I was um, you know wiping my face dry and I felt here and it felt like there was still product and I was doing this and so I had to rinse it off and it kind of stayed there not very long but I did rinse it off um, and I kind of noticed it was just that strip that had the bumps on there. So I didn't like that at all. And that was when I really stopped the next day on using it again. So just so you know, if you don't know, I have very sensitive skin. It is highly hormonal right now because I am 
just a little bit over one year postpartum and it's supposed to be two years until you completely heal 100 percent so and but 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 sometimes depending on the person sometimes whatever has triggered or opened up in regards to you being pregnant it will stay with you for life so i'm hoping at two years that i go back to before i was a pregnant but who knows so because what i've noticed is ever since i gave birth to my son or got pregnant um my skin has really gotten overly sensitive and through you know each day have passed it hasn't really been as heightened as it used to be when i was pregnant with my son and postpartum so i'm kind of really hoping that it's going to go back to where it was before which i still do have sensitive skin and it is acne prone excuse me depending on the product that i use and the ingredients that comes with the product and i right now i have normal to very dry skin um and i i usually i usually stay in areas that i mean let's be honest we're not live i'm not i'm not living in florida i'm not living in a tropical area in which a lot of places can just you know have open air when you don't live in that kind of area a lot of times the buildings are usually um dry because of either heat or air conditioning so that is my daily um, surroundings um so i have again i have sensitive skin it is also hormonal and if you have sensitive skin before you got pregnant and post and hit postpartum um, and if you are one of those people like me where your skin just feels iffy and questionable and foreign to you That is what is going on with me right now. So we're there together um, And it really did feel like my skin aged about one to two decades after when I started um, breastfeeding my son It has gotten better, but you know, I'm just giving you the rundown on what kind of skin I have um, so that's what it is and um Aside from these bumps here, I didn't get any redness, I didn't get any hives, I didn't get any burning, I didn't get any I didn't get any breakouts, I didn't have pimples, nothing. So that part is really great. However, I just didn't like the greasy feel that I was having during the day um when I would be using it even at night. It just felt like there was like a mask of oil on my face very light though it felt really light like um like borage oil if you've ever tried borage oil um or yeah like borage borage oil is very light however maybe even a little bit a little bit thicker or greasier than borage oil it's light however i it just felt like my face was greasy and i guess i wasn't used to that anymore because my face has my skin on my face has really gotten dry in the past year, so I'm not used to that. But when I did touch my face, it didn't feel like an oil slick. So, you know, I I just didn't like how it felt like. I just didn't like the greasy feel. I didn't feel like it was dripping oil or overly greasy or if you have oily to very oily skin, how it feels like, like that. I don't know. It felt a little bit um less oily than that if that makes any sense to anybody um i did recheck the ingredients and there's nothing in the ingredients that i know is a red flag that would give me any kind of irritation or itchiness but sometimes there's just certain things and specific products that um that they put in there that can be irritating um to your skin and it just depends per person on how it affects you and for me for this one it did itch and it, it did itch my face and it gave me like bumps here it did dissipate i did put something on it and when i woke up the next morning it was gone um but you know do i recommend this yes i really do if you are if you don't have overly sensitive skin um, or even if you have sensitive skin and you just want to check it out and just pay attention if it starts to itch you know just stop using it if you have very mature skin very dry you want a little bit more um, uh, oiliness or just a little just a hint of oiliness on your skin um, this might be good for you and if you already have a cleansing oil or cleansing balm that you love and you're kind of looking and shopping around for the foaming cleanser 
give this one a try. Also, um, don't worry, everything is linked down below. This also comes with a kit in which you can get this one as well as the cleansing oil together. So you could actually use them together and experience that and see how if it works um, the, the pair for you, especially like at the end of the day, you know, you went to work, you come home, you're tired, you're haggard, you got like all your makeup on your face, it's kind of oily and dirty from being outside, you know, and you just want to clean it off, you clean it off with the cleansing oil, and you have to clean the cleansing oil and everything, all the other residue with the foaming cleanser. I think this one and the cleansing oil is definitely a good pair to start with if you just kind of want to dabble a little bit in that in that kind of section. If you're new to K-Beauty and you're new to doing this 10-step program, and some people have actually incorporated it with, um, the step program into not just purely K beauty. So if you want to check it out too, and you want to try the cleansing oil and the foaming cleanser, give it a shot. It's very affordable, and all the links are going to be down below. Don't worry about that. Um, and I and there should be a coupon code down below as well. So do check that out. Um, I would definitely give this a three out of five stars. I give this two thumbs up. The three out of five stars is because it smells beautiful. You don't need a lot of product. So I really love that. The thing that I didn't like is that it's not for all skin types because people that are over, overly sensitive, kind of going through a hormonal phase in their life, who have overly sensitive skin, hormonal, you know, things like that, is still kind of irritating that, that kind of person's skin type. So that's why I'm not giving it a five. Um, and because I was getting, um, I think when you you start to get like bumps and a rash, I think that's a, that's a that's kind of a that's kind of extreme in a sense. So that's why I'm only giving it a three and not a four or five. But I think three is still pretty good. Um, so if you guys have experienced this particular product and you want to share your experience with me, let me know down below. If you want to chit chat about K-Beauty, I have really fallen in love with K-Beauty and um, I don't know, I just, I love reading a lot about it. I love reading other products out there and discovering it. And um, so if you have any info that you want to share with me, I would love to read that. Let me know down below guys. And thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you liked my video and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell so you are notified every single time I do upload a new video. I do also have two other channels. Please do check that out as well. Subscribe and watch my videos there as well. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time.